Happy New Year, freeze drying fam. I am back. It has been a while since I have filmed a new video for you guys. I'm so sorry for the long break that I had, but I am super excited to be back and especially excited for what I have in store for today's video. I first want to thank this community that I have here on YouTube, all of you for being around here this past year. This has been a full year of me making freeze drying videos and it has been so much fun and I have loved it and I'm just so grateful for the support that I have had from all of you. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas season and a wonderful new year. Are you the type of person that sets goals for the new year? I am not. I used to like when I was a kid and like high school times, I feel like I used to make goals, but as an adult, I have not been making goals, but I have some new goals for this new year in regards to YouTube and my channel. I have some new things that I want to do here. I want to expand into doing a little more things besides just strictly freeze drying. It'll still be all in the same genre, but there's more than just freeze drying that I do around here. So I thought I'd share a few more things with you guys and see how you like it. I have a new fun kitchen gadget coming next week that I got for Christmas that I am so excited about. So I'm gonna share an unboxing video of that, but I'm gonna keep it a surprise until I get my package in the mail and can share it. I am so excited. They've, it's something that's become popular kind of this past year, I feel like, and I think it's something that you guys might like. And it is a gadget that I'm gonna be able to use some of my freeze dried foods with. So super stoked about that. So moving on to today's video, we got to spend our Christmas break from school in Arizona where my husband and I are from with family. And let me tell you, it was an amazing break from this Alaskan winter cold and snow because down in Arizona, we were having 60 and 70 degree weather, sunshine, and we just soaked it all up. It was the best but I brought home something in my luggage to freeze dry because it's one of my favorite things to get in Arizona. It's actually grown at my in-laws house. We got some delicious Arizona citrus straight from the tree, organic, amazing oranges. I had to wear my sweater with orange in it because we're doing an orange video, of course. We brought extra luggage with us because we knew we'd be bringing home some Christmas gifts and stuff like that but I made sure to make space in my luggage for some oranges. We got a bowl of oranges. I'm so excited to show you what I'm gonna do with them. So the way I wanna freeze dry my oranges is in slices. I have done a little bit of research on freeze drying oranges. I've seen some people where their slices turned out great. I've seen others where they turned out not so great. I did do orange juice in a previous video, so I'm not gonna do any oranges for orange juice today. But if you wanna see how I freeze dried the orange juice, I will tag that video up here if you wanna check it out. I wanna do some of the peel so that I can freeze dry just orange peel and have that for cooking, baking, things like that. And then I'm gonna do some slices to hopefully just be good for like snacking. I saw a girl who did this, who sliced them up and dipped them in yogurt and just ate them that way. And they were so good, well, it looked so good, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get these oranges sliced up. I wanted to pause and show you my cute son out here playing in the snow. And the neighbor's dog is going crazy that he's out here and it's quite annoying, but. We got some more snow last night. We're still buried in snow here near Anchorage, Alaska, clearly. I wanted to give you a little bit of information about these oranges. So my in-laws are, we are from Mesa, Arizona, which is a suburb of Phoenix. And they have this home that has 105 year old orange trees and they are huge and just produce so much oranges every year. When we lived there every Christmas, around Christmas is when the oranges are ready. We just 
love picking oranges and making fresh squeezed orange juice. That's our favorite thing to do with the oranges. Um, we, when we were there, we sent our kids out. It's nice, my kids are big enough to pick the oranges themselves, so I don't have to do the hard work of picking the oranges. My kids picked them and they love doing it and it's just so much fun. Kind of one of our Christmas traditions. Well, these might be the most beautiful freeze dryer trays of all time. I think I say that fairly often, but these are definitely top. So pretty. There's just something so good about fresh citrus. So I've got three trays of slices. And this last tray here are just orange peel. I tried to slice the orange peel off as close to just the orange as possible, but I left some white on there just because I'm not great at a knife. But I want to use this. I'm going to powder it down to just be like orange zest powder. And then when a recipe calls for orange zest, I can just add a little scoop of the orange peel powder and you got orange zest without having to have a fresh orange. That's amazing. And these slices, I have high hopes for. We will find out, but they're so good. I don't know if they'll reconstitute back to oranges. I'm guessing not, because they're gonna get very like fragile, I think, and more like air pockets and stuff. So I don't think they'll rehydrate to like an orange per se, but my hope is that they will just taste good how they are. And even eating with the peel and everything, but if it's too bitter eating it with the peel, I can just cut them in half and just eat the inside of the fruit. So that's my intentions for these freeze dried oranges. I am going to get my tray lids on these and then we're gonna head downstairs to the freeze drying room. My freeze dryer is in my basement, so it's really convenient to be able to stack my trays up and just carry them down all in one load. I got these tray lids from Harvest Right. They're one of the accessories you can purchase with your freeze dryer. So that's where I got these. They work great, highly recommend. One of the fun things we did when we were in Arizona that I wanted to share with you guys, if you happen to either live there and you haven't done this before, or if you are visiting the Phoenix area, out in East Mesa, there is a fun ghost town. It is called Goldfield Ghost Town, I believe. I don't know the official name, but Goldfield. I will put a link in the video description if you want to check it out. But it is this cute old western town that is modeled after the original gold mining town that was there when the original people came who settled Arizona because they discovered gold there. And so they have it really set up cute with all these old style uh, like they have an old jail there, a like mercantile store, saloon, a little chapel. Like it's super cute and fun. They do a awesome reenactment of a gunfight, which is super like entertaining and was really fun, especially for the kids to watch. And they have different activities you can do. They have this really crazy like crooked room where you walk into it and you feel like you're like being tilted backwards. That's a little tour you can do. You can do a tour of a mine of what it was like for the miners back in the 1800s. I don't remember exactly what year it was when they were there. And there's like a train ride tour you can do. It's really fun. I will post some of our pictures from our adventure at the end of the video so you can see kind of what it looks like. It was a beautiful sunny day when we were there. It was just awesome. So definitely check that out if it's something that you would want to do for a fun tourist activity in Arizona. Highly recommend. They also have a really fun zip line that you can do. My kids did it and absolutely loved it. I'm here at the freeze dryer. I am going to reset the settings. I like to do my extra dry time for like seven hours for in case the machine is done in the middle of the night. It'll just keep drying the food and I think these are gonna take quite a while. I am expecting like definitely over 24 hours. I'm guessing maybe in the 40 hour mark. I don't know, we will find out. But let's get these loaded up. I've waited my 15 minute cool down period and now can load up the trays.
One thing I think I forgot to mention was that as I peeled the orange, not peeled, sliced the oranges, I tried to pull out the seeds. You don't, I mean, you don't want to be eating seeds, but I think they also are hard when it comes to the freeze dryer. So remove the seeds before you freeze dry them. If you are wanting to get on the freeze drying journey yourself, I always have a link in my video description below to the Harvest Right website where you can check out the freeze dryers and any offers that they have going on. You also can find accessories for your freeze dryer there. When you're in the website from the link, you just click the shop button and then there's a section for accessories and there's a section for freeze dryers. If you have any questions about the type of freeze dryer that you might want for your family and your needs, I am happy to help answer any questions that you have. Mine is the medium sized freeze dryer with a um, oil pump, the premier oil pump, I think is what it is called. And it has worked great for me. The new updated version of the freeze dryer has five trays, mine has four. So that's a bonus of getting the new up, uh, upgraded freeze dryer. That's all for today. So next time you see me, these oranges will be done. I will let you know how long they took and then we will do some taste testing. See y'all in a few. Welcome back. It's the next day. My machine is in its extra dry cycle and it's got like one hour left. So it's been extra drying for like seven hours or so. So I'm gonna pull out a tray and just see how it's looking. If they seem like they're dried or not. So if you look at these, you can see the bubbles forming on them. That is the sugar coming out. Oh my gosh, they look so cute. Here is a slice of orange. You can see it just breaks apart super easily. Feels completely dry. It can powder down to nothing. I'm gonna call these good. One way where you, how you can test to see if your food is fully done is by weighing one tray, putting it back in, letting it dry for another hour or two, reweighing it. If your weight is the same, then it's removed all the moisture. If your weight is changing, then your machine is still pulling moisture out of the fruit. These seem done to me. I am gonna get them out and start packaging them up. My plan for my oranges. I'm gonna store some in mason jars because I'm gonna use the ones for mason jars that I'm gonna be like snacking on. I'm gonna do, I think one mylar bag of oranges just to have them nice and preserved on my food storage shelf or when I want to use them in the future. The orange peels, I'm gonna put in my smaller jar and then we will take those upstairs and process them up into a powder for our nice quick and easy orange zest. And then we'll go from there. Well, I am super impressed at how much I got in my jars. So these are my two jars that I threw an oxygen absorber in and I'm gonna take them upstairs and vacuum seal the tops with my food saver as well. We're gonna address the peels when we go upstairs. These are the ones that I'm gonna use for our taste test in a little bit. I have not tried any of these. I know they look beautiful. I'm hoping they taste great. And this is gonna be my longer term storage bag. One of my goals that I'm manifesting for this year is to get myself a vacuum chamber sealer. I'm gonna save up my money to purchase one of those this year because it would just really help with my bagging and my food preservation. You can just get really nice, good airtight seals on your food, remove most of the air, way better than a food saver machine can do. So manifesting that for 2024. And so now let's go head upstairs and see what we can do with these oranges. I'm here at my food saver. I am just gonna use my jar lid attachment. Super easy, you just stick it on and it's gonna suck out most of the air. To grind up my orange peel, I am using my little Ninja food chopper. You could use any type of a food processor or a blender would probably work also. I'm just gonna dump these in. Hopefully it can handle all of those. 
give it a little whirl. I wish you could smell how good this smells. I am super excited about this. This is the amount of powder I got. And I think I probably used the zest of about four or five orange peels of about four or five oranges, maybe a few more. So this is ultra concentrated. I would use this in like baking recipes when they call for orange zest. Orange zest I would just use a tiny little scoop and put it in there and it will really give your food a very delicious orange flavor. I am picturing that this would be so good to make orange cinnamon rolls with. That's one of our favorite treats. My sister makes amazing orange rolls. I have never made cinnamon rolls before in my life, but maybe I'm gonna have to learn so I can use my orange zest to make the orange rolls. That sounds amazing. Okay, it's time to finally taste these beauties. I'm hoping they taste good. They look beautiful. So I've seen people just like eat the rind and everything. I'm gonna try it. It might be a little bitter, and if that's the case, then I'll just eat the center of it, but. I really like that, and I'm dead serious. I don't lie to you guys. What do you think, Link? It's good. Here, back up so I can see you. Kinda like an orange chip. You don't have to eat the rind if you don't want to, but I think it tastes good. No, I eat it without the rind. Cause look, or you could just take a bite like that. Like that bite I just took is a little bitter. Cause I didn't candy these or anything. So if you got a thick I piece of rind, I would just rind. eat the middle like that. I don't really like that is it. so good. Another way to eat these I saw, someone dipped them in yogurt. I love this coconut yogurt. So I thought that would be really good. Hello. Okay, let's get a little dip. Yes. Mm. Mm. That's good. I prefer it by just biting the middle out of it. Jeez. Okay, that turned out super good, much better than I expected. I also think it would be fun to try candying the oranges first and then freeze drying them. Then they would be super sweet and a yummy little treat, but those worked out really well. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to try and answer them for you. Someone also said they like to put those slices in their tea, so if you like to drink tea or any type of like hot drinks. I feel like throwing a little slice of freeze dried orange would be a great way to add a little bit of flavor. It's really good to be back. I'm excited to start making more videos again and thinking of more ideas for my freeze dryer and freeze dried food. Some other things that I'm gonna start exploring here, which is super fun. My next video will be the unboxing of my new kitchen gadget. So stay tuned for that. That will come out next week. I think that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful new year. And if you are the goal setting type, I hope that you crush those goals in 2024. I will catch you all on the next freeze drying adventure. Bye.